everyone. This is Erica Grundi with LuLaRoe. It's been a little while since I've um, gotten on here. Uh, it's been a whirlwind of crazy. Um, I've been now selling LuLaRoe for just a tad bit over three weeks, and it has been um, a life changer to say the least. Um, as you can see, my eye are, eyes are very, very tired. Uh, it's because it is a tiring thing. Um, <laughs> I thought having three children under four and working a full-time teaching position was tiring, but um, putting those two with LuLaRoe makes it a challenge. Um, but on the flip side, I love my babies. I love my teaching job and I love LuLaRoe. So ultimately, it's all good because I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. So I wanted to write, uh, make a little video here, just kind of giving you the numbers. Uh, that was my number one favorite thing I got to do before I decided to sign up with LuLaRoe um, because I wanted to see what everyone else was doing. Now, granted, I also knew that some people may not be like me and may not do the same types of things, um, but I thought it was important for me to listen to what everyone else was saying and um, try to get some tips uh, and see if it was legit. And so um, my personal journey started, honestly, I signed up before I even owned a piece of LuLaRoe. Um, I had some in the mail on the way, uh, but I went ahead and put my name in the queue because I heard it took so long. So I was like, well, you know, worst comes to worst, I'll put my name in if I don't like the product because I have to be passionate about what I'm doing or it's just not going to do any, <laughs> I'm not going to be interested. So um, needless to say, I, uh, um, uh, have my stuff coming in, put my name in the queue. Uh, it was like eight weeks. So I just wanted to make sure that I, um, I had my name in there just in case. And when I got my first, uh, pieces in, I ended up getting, um, two Nicole dresses and, uh, two pairs of leggings and then some matching leggings for my daughters. I have twin girls who are two. Mm, loved everything. Uh, the leggings are exactly what you hear, buttery, soft, and fabulous. The quality was wonderful. Um, those Nicole dresses, I'm a big girl. I don't know if you can tell, but I, um, I'm right now about a size 14. And so I'm about a large, extra large Nicole and I feel wonderful. Uh, right. I bought the larges. Um, it, I need a little tummy smoother, make me feel a little more comfortable, but, uh, quality is awesome. Um, styles are fabulous. I am now personally obsessed with the Amelia, but ultimately all of the styles are absolutely gorgeous and very, very flattering to all body types. I still maintain those skinny girls have it easier. They look a lot better in things. Uh, my mother's a size small, uh, jelly much this girl. Um, so needless to say, she looks amazing and everything, but, um, but still uh, I love the prints. I mean, this one right here is one I could not help, but get, uh, it's a perfect tee. And I absolutely had to have it when it, when it came in the package, I was like, Oh, that's my, my size. Perfect. I'm keeping it. Um, so anyways, uh, all that to say my, my journey has been probably a little different than some. I actually even considered hiding the idea from my husband because of the initial investment, which if you're watching this video, I am sure you have heard this, um, multiple times, but the investment is pretty high. I like to say investments high, but the risk is very, very low because the fact of the matter is you are able to, um, sell back everything back to the company for, I believe it is uh, a 15% restocking fee. So if you sell a little bit and it isn't what you want, or you keep some of your own clothes at the discount, you know, at the, the rate that we pay, um, then you really didn't lose anything. Uh, 15% is really nothing compared to everything else. So, um, so it's, it, again, it's a very, very low risk investment. Plus you're not spending it on website fees and, um, a, you know, uh, all these crazy things that you really kind of need with all these other DS companies. This one, you literally get inventory. So yes, you're spending money, but it's yours. It is your inventory to do with what you will. Um, I personally also got really excited and interested in it because of the fact that I've been in DS companies multiple times and nothing against those. Sometimes I did well, sometimes not so well. But for me, I love the fact that the way they set their company up with having no more than uh, 3,000 pieces made from each fabric that makes it very unique. And all of us have different products. So yes, there is still some competition, but it's not nearly as cutthroat as the other companies where they all have a website. So you, anybody can order the same things from everybody. Um, so that made it very unique. And the customers are fabulous. Like the LuLaRoe obsessive compulsive type people like me who get really excited about things and want to have everything. Um, they are just the best customers in the world because all they want is to buy LuLaRoe. Um, and you can find them online like nobody's business. Uh, and my number one reason why I personally signed up was because, again, with being involved in DS companies before, um, I felt very bad about having to ask my friends and family. And I always felt like even if I wasn't feeling like I was being pushy, I still felt pushy saying, hey, why don't you check this out? I just, the whole natural salesman thing does not come to me. So I was 
very uncomfortable with that. Um, so I had promised myself after looking and researching and obsessively looking at YouTube videos and um, Facebook groups and all the different things, I wanted to be primary, like pretty much all online. And I had no intention on really even bringing it up to my friends and family unless they heard it from me or if they saw an outfit I was wearing and liked, that would be different. But I'm not going to add you to my Facebook group just for the heck of it. Um, so I built my group up from bottom up. I literally had, I think, 20 people, like a couple family members who I, my mother, for example, a couple friends. Um, but other than that, I built my group up just by um, the social media wonderful world that we're in. And so right now I think I have like 1500 people in my group and they're all pretty involved. Like, I mean, there's, there's some who come and go, but ultimately when I have a party, it's been doing pretty well. Okay. So now that I'm six minutes in, um, my, the numbers. Okay. So I heard a lot of numbers and I was a little concerned that I wasn't going to be able to do that considering the fact that I do work a full-time job, uh, and a teacher is more than just 40 hours and we have a lot going on. Um, I am here at the end of the school year, so I'll have a lot more time in the summer. So I'm excited about that. Um, okay. So I wrote down my numbers. So my first week I ended up selling $3,480 and 16 cents. Now I like to say that the, basically the easiest way to consider what is your profit is about 50% because some items you get like up to 60%, some are closer to 45, but with, um, shipping and just different little things and all the packaging, it's 50%. It's the best way to look at it. So that would mean that I profited, um, about 1700, well, about $1,700, a little over $1,700 in a week, <laughs> which is pretty amazing considering, um, I'm not gonna say what I make as a teacher, but let's just say it's not that. So that was pretty cool. Um, the next week was a little slower for me. My second week, I ended up doing 1518, uh, 52. So total would have been $4,998 and 68 cents in two weeks. The second week, I only did three parties. My first week I did, I did like six parties. So, I mean, you definitely have to work it. All these people who, uh, say that you may not have to do as much, they're probably not telling you the truth. Uh, most of the YouTube videos tell you like it is. And the fact of the matter is you have to work. It's not, it is not this whole scheme of you can work part-time hours and make full-time pay. Yeah, <laughs> not even close. You have to work full-time hours. I feel very much like I work eight hours at school and I come home and I some, spend some time with my family and my babies and come home or come back to the Lula room, my wonderful Lula room. And I'm in here for another five or six hours. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, so all that to say, uh, it's been great, but it is, it is definitely a lot of work. Um, and then the last week I did really well. My third week, I did $4,117 and two cents. And all in all in three weeks, I had 14 parties. Um, and that includes all online. Um, I did, a uh, couple Facebook parties in my personal group. I also did Facebook parties with other people um, and their pop-up groups who have like three, four, five, six thousand people in there. Um, so that was pretty fabulous. Um, so my total sales, and um, this would be without um, taxes included or the fees that come out from Lularo, uh, the Audrey system, which is a small percentage. Um, so it's nine thousand one hundred fifteen dollars and seventy cents. So my profit has been about $4,600 in three weeks, in three weeks. It's um, pretty crazy. Uh, and again, I have been working my tushy off, so it is definitely not easy, but at the same time, it is absolutely worth it. Um, I have a fabulous who's, husband who uh, he's, I call him my, you know, he's my shipping manager. So he comes in and he, you know, packages and prints out the labels. And so he's a really great uh, team player with me and watches the kids when I have to do um, a party or, or whatever. But it's getting a lot easier. Once you um, photograph all of those 350, 400 pieces of initial inventory, it does make it easier because then you just get maybe a shipment of 35 pieces and then another shipment of 40 pieces. So all you have to do is photograph those versus 300 pieces. Um, I have found, and this is my biggest tip to anyone, is that um, the, the mantra, work smarter, not harder. Okay. I'm sure most people have heard of that before. And to me, for LuLaRoe, the best thing to do when it comes to working smarter versus harder is to build your inventory. People say it all the time, but the reason, and I have found this to be extremely true, the more inventory you have, the more customers you're going to have. This is just common sense. If I have a thousand pieces, I can offer a group of, a th you know, uh, 500 people, then more than likely most people are going to find something they want. But if I only have four or 500 pieces, then it's more limiting. So it is extremely important to invest back into the company and invest back into really yourself and into the product. If you're able to give, uh, have more um, options available, then you're going to end up having more customers. 
Um, and then in addition, I also feel like with regard to the working smarter, not harder, um, the people who I do know, like my sponsor has uh, probably about 1200 pieces of inventory, super jealous here. Um, but the 1200 pieces that my husband, um, the 1200 pieces she has, she's able to have these parties that are like 60, 70, 80 item parties. Whereas for me, who has roughly at this point, I think I'm at about 700 pieces. I've been adding like crazy, uh, pretty much every single penny I have has gone back to the company, uh, back to inventory. Um, so I've noticed my parties have gotten better because I have more options available. So, um, you know, my personal goals have been this first month. I really wanted to focus on, um, building my inventory. I did have to get three credit cards to, um, get that initial investment of, and I ended up putting in about, uh, $600 in products and supplies. Um, and then, uh, like my racks and everything. And then I ended up spending about $7,000 in the beginning because I just got them. I spent 5,000 for my initial inventory, but then after that, I ended up placing more orders so I could have more to start. Um, so I do have a little bit higher, um, debt than other people might to start. So needless to say, I'm going to be, uh, after this first month, I'm going to start putting more money toward my debt um, the second month and still, you know, obviously get inventory, but those are my two things. Third month, I'm going to try to finish off paying my debt and then um, a little bit, you know, of course, the rest back to inventory. And then my fourth month is when I'm going to start paying myself. So that is that is really my goals and we'll see how that works out. I was really hoping to cruise qualify. And for those of you who don't know, cruise qualification, um, you have to end up selling um, $12,000 minimum. There's other levels, but $12,000 in sales, uh, for four months in a row. Honestly, not that hard. Uh, the problem is I started on the 6th of June, uh, excuse me, 6th of May. And so I lost a week. Uh, I would be on track, uh, in a month. I should be able to hit 12,000, but unfortunately I only have two days, three days left. And I don't know if that's really going to happen. Um, I do have parties and I am trying. Um, I have other sales that $9,115 70 cents. Um, I have more in the past two weeks cause this was two, uh, I'm sorry, in the past two days. Um, so in the past two days, I probably jumped another $300. So I'm maybe at $9,400. Um, so I still have a ways to go. Um, and right now with Memorial weekend, it's not as busy as I would like. So, um, so I don't think I'm going to hit 12,000, but that's okay because I feel very confident in saying that, you know, throughout the summer, the next two months when I don't have to work, I can totally rock it to 12,000. And then the last two months when I do have work, I'll already be, I'll be a little more used to everything. Sorry, I'm sorry, my eye. Um, a little, uh, used to everything. And I might get a Lula assistant, someone who can help me, uh, do things while I'm at work. And, um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm really, really excited about the company. Um, I would love, absolutely love to talk to you about this company. If you are looking for someone I've seen on YouTube videos, everyone says the same type thing. And that is find someone that you feel like you can connect with. Um, and if it's not more personality based and you're more based on wanting someone who does like either has a similar lifestyle or is looking to, um, do sell the product the same way. Me is primarily online. Um, I do ha I have, I'm thinking of adding, especially during the summer, once a month uh, open house. But my Lula room is not ready for that yet. It needs to be more organized. And, um, and I just don't have the time right now. So I like to do online sales. Um, I love Facebook. I have not done a Periscope yet, only because I haven't felt 100% comfortable and confident with it yet. But I do intend to do that as well. But I love online sales. I love the fact that I get to meet these women, talk to them, get to know them, and um, sell them some beautiful clothes. And I don't even really know them, which is really cool because, again, it's, it's kind of cold selling, but not. You're not knocking on doors. You're not giving people business cards at random. No, these are women who have sought you out. You have a party or you go to someone else's uh, group who hosts this to get free gifts or excuse me, free LuLaRoe. Lula oh, I didn't even say right. Uh, free LuLaRoe products. And, um, and so that's really cool because you can go in there and already have a customer base. And if they like you, they generally will come into your group as well. So all in all, it's been an amazing experience. I very much look forward to building my team. As of now, I have three ladies in the queue. So I'm excited about that. I'm hoping by the end of the summer to uh, get 10 ladies because that would make my next level, which I, I believe is called coach. <laughs> I don't know the names of them because quite honestly, it is what it is. I, I can't even focus on that. Pretty sure it's coach once you get 10 people under you. And um, I just, I love team building. I, in other DS companies, I've been uh, a leader. I love, love, love helping other people reach their goals as well. So, um, so if you're looking for someone and interested and talk to me, please, um, send me a message. You can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't go on them that often, but I am on them. So please feel free to contact me there. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm an open book. I'm willing to tell you anything and everything you could possibly know. Um, I will say my one tip, one tip for new people, big, big tip. 
do not overextend yourself. As much as you want to, and as much as you want to have five parties a week, one every night, don't do it. I really regret that one decision. I love my sales, but I do regret taking away a little too much time for my family. Um, they've been amazing. My husband's been very, very helpful. And my kids, they're very young. So um, they're, I have twin girls, like I said, who are two and my son's four. And so fortunately, they probably won't remember this when they're older, but I still feel very badly. Um, so I want to completely emphasize, make sure you try to balance your time because um, it will make you happier in the end. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you like it, please push like, please subscribe. I'm going to try and make more videos as uh, the weeks and months go by. And again, open book here. I don't hide anything. I'll tell you like it is. I'll tell you anything you need to know and um, give you those numbers, everything. Again, very, very open book here. So have a wonderful day a wonderful Memorial weekend, and I will see you all later. Bye. Can't pause it. I can stop it. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't work.